everyone. Welcome to Imagination Station. It's me, Mr. Har, and I am so glad to be back with you at Vacation Bible School. Here at Imagination Station, we're going to have so much fun this week learning about Jesus' power. Each day, we're going to start with uh, a question to just get us warmed up, to get us thinking, and then we'll head over to the official Imagination Station where we'll have some kind of project or gizmo of the day to help us learn all about Jesus' power. So let's get started today with our first question. How long does it take a baby bighorn sheep to learn to walk and climb as well as its mother? Do you think it takes six weeks or one day? Ramsey the bighorn sheep, did it take six weeks or one day to learn how to walk and climb? That's a tough one. Think about it. Shout out your answer at the screen. Talk to whoever's with you, see what they think. All right, make your final decision, six weeks or one day. Let's do a drum roll. The answer is one day. Can you believe that? In one day, a bighorn sheep can learn how to walk and climb. Our imaginations are fired up, so let's head over to the Imagination Station. <laughs> Welcome to the Imagination Station. Each day I'll be joined by my helper, Stella. She's gonna help us as we explore and learn with our projects and gizmos. We're also joined today by Ramsey the Bighorn Sheep. <laughs> Ramsey the Bighorn Sheep lives up in the Rocky Mountains and the Rocky Mountains can be beautiful and scenic and gorgeous and fun to climb. But one of the things that can happen is they can also be very dangerous and it can get awfully slippery on those rocks, especially when it snows. But Ramsey has something. He has his sure-footed feet to help him keep control and stay safe. Ramsey knows that Jesus gives us power to do hard things. Trust Jesus. Now, just in the way that it's hard to control walking on the rocks, Sometimes life is hard to control as well, and things don't always go the way that we've planned them, and we're not sure what direction we're going, and that can be really tough. And today we're gonna to talk more about that, and we're gonna see our first gizmo. So I want you to take your bag and look for the one that says day one, day one mini ram car. And inside, go ahead and open it up. Take out your mini ram car. I have orange. Stella, what color do you have? Purple. Purple. All right. And the way this works is you could just drive it around a little bit. All right. But these cars are fun because when you pull them back and let them go, what happens? It flipped upside down. Whoa. All right. It drove straight and then it fell off the edge of the table. Let's try the orange one. Let's see what happens. Whoa, it ran into the clipboard. I aimed it this way and it still went this way, all right? So sometimes life doesn't go in the way or the direction that you choose. So this can be a really fun thing to play with because you can see if you can get it to go in the direction that you want or if it'll go off in some crazy thing. Now there's some options of how you can make this even more fun to play. If you have some paper, all right, and some markers. You can draw a design and kind of make like a race course or a road to drive on. Here's mine. So here's the road that it drives. There's our Rocky Mountains, and there's some of the trees that you would find in the Rocky Mountains. So let's try and see if it works on the race course. All right, Stella, you try. Pull it back and let's see what direction it goes. All right, it went pretty straight, but then it fell off in the mountains. So you can... race the cars, all right, on the paper, on the course. If you have a brother or sister or a friend or a cousin that has one too, then you can race them against each other. Maybe you could pull them on the floor and track the distance of how far they go. Maybe you could shoot them off uh, the edge of something and see how far it can drop. So much fun. But as you're using it, think about what's going on. Even though life can be hard to control sometimes, it's ultimately our trust in Jesus that helps us stay safe and stay secure. We know that he's going to take care of us. We know that he wants the best for us and it's going to work for us. So Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Trust, trust Jesus. Jesus. 
We'll see you tomorrow again at the Imagination Station.